Yo, what is going on guys? Drake here with Unlock Boost, official YouTube channel. In today's video, we have a informational video for you guys on 10 things to do before buying a used phone. So, whether you are just looking for a budget phone or you're needing a replacement phone, anything like that in which forces you to get a used or refurbished phone, using this video will help you guys make a nice informed decision before purchasing a phone. So, let's get right into it. So the first thing to do is ensure that the phone looks and feels like a new one. So here on this phone, I'm on a Samsung Galaxy S10 here. However, it's pretty much in brand new condition as everything still works as if it's stock. I have plenty of apps on here. The camera app works very good. It runs fast, it runs smooth, don't have any hitching. Uh, in terms of the hardware, nothing's messed up besides the uh, screen protector here. So you can peel that off and the phone will look brand new pretty much. So this is a great condition of a used phone. However, some used phones will not look this good. Some may have scratches, cracks, bumps, or uh, hardware deficiencies. So in order to do this, it's very simple to just look around at the phone to make sure that it's somewhat new and just inspect the physical condition of it before even looking on the inside. So that is the first thing to do is just make sure that the phone looks and feels like a new one. The next step guys is to check for authenticity in your phone. So mainly this is only for iPhones, however it is occasional for Androids that so you might run across a replica. However it's very simple to tell for the most part. Um, for an iPhone the main thing to look for is just the style of the Apple logo. Sometimes it'll just be a sticker and then sometimes it's an engraved. Obviously the engraved version is a real one and the sticker is fake. So that's pretty simple to tell. Um, and for Androids a very easy way to tell is by not only restarting the phone but just checking your software make sure that you have the official build from samsung and as long as you have that and most of the time it's authentic however there is some replicas so just be wary of that and step three to check before buying a used phone is to verify the imei number of the phone now we just did a video for this a few weeks ago and you guys can check this out in which we do an imei lookup service and we have three websites that let you check your IMEI for free and very fast. So go check out that video as it will pretty much let you know everything that you need to use to check your IMEI number for free. Anyways, checking your IMEI number lets you know that the phone is clean, not stolen, and good to go. So definitely this is a must to do before checking anything else. Check your IMEI. Again, to do this, you can just go to the dial app on your phone, type in star pound zero six pound, boom 15 digit IMEI number again you can do this if you need to however just make sure that you have a good website in order to check this with and alright guys the fourth tip is to make sure that the phone is not stolen or carrier locked so on Android it's pretty simple uh, and it kind of ties in with the last step to look up the IMEI number and it will usually let you know if the phone is clean or stolen or blacklisted or whatnot However, if you're on iPhone, another way to check this is by going to your settings and going to find my iPhone and turning that on. If you can't turn that on or it doesn't let you, typically your phone has either been marked as stolen or it is carrier locked. So make sure that you can turn on find my iPhone if you're on iPhone and again just check your IMEI status if you're on Android like myself. The fifth tip is to watch out for water damage. Now this is the case and has been for many years for electronic devices. However, when stuff gets old, typically it gets wet, whether it's from outside, inside, doesn't matter. However, to check for water damage, um, it's very simple. If you're on iPhone, depending on the model, you can just look as the uh, iPhones do have a liquid contact indicator. And you can look and see uh, if your phone has you know, broken that seal or not. However, if you are on Android, it is a little bit tougher as we can't do exactly that. However, just inspecting the condition of the device, checking to see if it's been dropped, if it's wet, um, and the speed of the phone, if it's slowed down, if it just looks you know, weird or just doesn't feel like a uh, phone should, and then it could be water damaged. And all right guys, the sixth step is very important and it is to check for the right storage space. So sometimes you might get a old 16 gigabyte iPhone 6 and you might regret it immediately. So you just wanna check your storage on the phone before buying, so if you're looking at it, you know, before purchasing, then it's very simple. Um, on Android or Samsung phones, you can go to Device Care. And as you guys can see, uh, this actually helps you 
let you know what's wrong it'll let you know something's wrong with your battery all that stuff so i'm gonna click fix now real quick however it will let you know your storage has been freed up and all that stuff and this is a 64 gig phone so obviously it has plenty of storage for myself however if you have a 16 or 32 gig model that might not be enough for you so just figuring out which storage space works for you is very important the seventh step is to check the camera obviously you want to make sure that the camera works good um, and it is very important as camera phones have pretty much taken over and will soon make regular cameras obsolete so it's just important that you make sure uh, what app that you use for your camera is working properly so obviously the default Samsung app here but if you're on iPhone the camera app just make sure that you can take pictures make sure that both sides of the camera work here and it's very simple um, just test the camera make sure it works you know and you're good to go from there the next step uh, I just mentioned it two steps to go is to check the battery life of the phone so to go through here and as you can see for Samsung devices if you go to device care it definitely helps as you can let you know lets you know everything you need to know about your battery your usage your estimated time left all that stuff it's very important so make sure that you guys check on the battery life make sure that it is good for what you want to do on your phone um, and if you're on iPhone make sure that you can test that now in iOS 13 is uh, making sure that your battery life is good so definitely do that make sure that that checks out before you buy the phone as battery life is one of the most important parts of having a phone Alright, guys step nine is to make sure that Wi-Fi Bluetooth and GPS are all working so to do this on Android just go to your connections tab and you're going to want to check all your devices I've already done it my Wi-Fi is fine my Bluetooth is fine and my GPS is fine however on an older phone or a used phone uh, sometimes the Bluetooth gets messed up sometimes the GPS does all that stuff so just make sure that all that stuff works as making sure that your network adapters are indeed intact and working fine is very very important so guys that is nine steps and now we have one more step to do in this video and this is to make sure that all of the buttons work on the phone now this is very important and very underlooked as sometimes you might get a phone and not even know that the power buttons messed up volume buttons messed up all that type of stuff so we're going to go through with you guys here um, we're just going to check on the volume buttons here so here's volume up volume down bixby button um, power button so obviously all these buttons are good as i use this phone however on iphones especially older iphones the power buttons tend to get jammed messed up same with the volume buttons or the uh, ringer switch so make sure that all the physical buttons work make sure the home button works touch id fingerprint scanner uh, face scan any type of biometric technology that you're using in your phone is very important to make sure it works fine and um, it also helps maintain the health of your device to make sure everything works fine so last but not least make sure every button on your phone works before buying so that's gonna do it guys we gave you guys 10 steps here in which you guys could check out on how to uh, properly research a phone before buying it how to test out a phone before buying it all that good stuff if this video helped you guys please leave us a thumbs up we'd greatly appreciate it here on the unlock boot channel so this is drake with unlock boot we'll catch you guys in the next video peace